and welcome back to my channel. My name is Stacy Flowers and I am a student of Dave Ramsey's Financial Peace University and on a journey to become 100% debt free. My current debt is nearly $200,000. I'm on baby step number two to repay all of my debt. My income this month was $6,000 and I work for myself part time. In this video, I'm going to be giving a detailed overview of how to use the Every Dollar app. So if you are interested in that, please keep watching. those of you who are not familiar with the every dollar app it is the app that dave ramsey has created i believe it's about two or three years old that he uses in um, combination with his program financial peace university in general dave ramsey is an advocate for using pen and paper he's of that generation i love pen and paper too it just makes me feel like i'm truly using my numbers However, over this last year, um, through just me wanting to interact with the community, I have fallen more and more in love with the app in terms of it being an additional checks and balance and a really beautiful way for me to be able to see where my money is going. And so to that end, every time I do a budget report card, which you guys can watch all of my budget report cards for the month, for the year of 2018, I throw you guys over my shoulder and I'm able to show you my numbers and the categories in a very beautiful way. And I know a lot of you guys can benefit from being able to see your numbers that way. So I figured I'd show you exactly what it was like to use the Every Dollar app. Without further ado, let me throw you over my shoulder so we can take a look at this Every Dollar app. First things first, you just want to go to Google and type in every dollar app. And when you type that in, a lot of different things will come up and you want to select everydollar.com and then it'll bring you to this page where you click, it will actually say sign up. Mine says sign in because I already have an account. So it'll say sign up and then you sign up with just your email and everything is completely free. That's important to keep in mind. So once you sign in, then it will automatically populate a budget template for you, which I just think is really awesome because it just sets you up to be able to see um, what are the potential options for your budget and what a budget could look like. I just think it's a really amazing way that Dave Ramsey automatically sets you up with a semi-organized budget. So after you're inside, you can scroll through and see the pre-populated things. I just want to give you guys a high level overview of everything and then we'll go into the details. So your first section is always gonna be your income because you wanna start your budgeting with your income. Too many people start budgeting with expenses and that's a, a an excellent way to never have enough money. Um, so consider your income first and um, to populate your income, you just select the, cat the, the numbers there and then you just type it in and push return. Um, and you can just do that throughout the budget. You see once you put information in the plan section up here at the top, this shows you um, a different number. So it shows me that I have $1,500 left in my budget because I'm planning to receive $1,500. When you come down to your additional sections, the first um, expense is giving. I love that this is the first expense because it is a beautiful practice to add to your life. It opens up the flow of money. So let's just say I wanted to give $150. I'll just put that on there and you can automatically see that that 150 was taken from the $1,500 in income. So everything that you put inside of the Every Dollar app after your income gets automatically deducted from that number, which is just a beautiful way to be able to see your numbers change uh, via your expense. Right after giving, the second expense is savings, which I love that that's the second expense and um, according to Dave Ramsey's Financial Peace University, your first baby emergency fund should be $500 if your income is under $20,000 a year and $1,000 if your income is over um, um, $20,000 a year. So I'm just going to put $1,000 in there. Let's just say this month we're going to fully fund our emergency fund. So you can see putting that $1,000 in there automatically changed my budget that's left um, here at the top. Then you come down to your third expense and that's going to be the um the compilation of all your needs and so you would put your rent in here and i'm just going to use my real numbers um for right now just because it'll make it easier to look over the budget so you can see just with me adding those expense now this number up here changes to red it's showing that i'm 580 dollars over budget and that's really awesome because this number is the number that supports you in getting it down to zero. Now, obviously, we know this number um, is the, we know I'm over budget because 
typically I make more than $1,500 a month. So let's just say first paycheck one is $1,500. Second paycheck is also going to be $1,500. Let me just put that in there as planned. And then that brings my total to $3,000, leaving me $919 left in the budget. So let's keep going down with my expenses. So one of the features that I want to show, show you is how to track your savings inside of the every dollar app so you definitely have your emergency fund here but let's say you're like me and you need to create another savings I have a health savings account and I wanted to save five hundred dollars you just click add and then you put health savings as a title and then you come over here to the right of the screen and you can see that you can set a due date in there but what's really important is you want to make it a fund when you make it a fund you get to say what your starting balance is my starting balance is five hundred dollars uh, excuse me my starting balance is zero dollars um but my savings goal is 500 so i want to come down here and write 500 and click save then let's say out of this month's budget i want to put 50 dollars towards that what it'll show is that i have 50 dollars towards my 500 dollars savings goal and it'll just continue to track in that way this one was already populated but let's see if i can look at the fund details so yeah, let's put the fun details in of this one that we want it to be $1,000. Our starting balance is zero as well. So let's just say right now in your um, savings account, you have a savings, a sinking fund for your roof or for, let's say, a washing machine. And you know, and you want to make this a fund, and you already know that right now you have $275 saved. You put $275 there at the top, and then you come down and you say your goal is a thousand dollars it shows inside of your but your fund that you have two hundred and seventy five dollars uh, let me make sure let me click out of that okay it shows in your fund that you have a balance of two hundred and seventy five dollars and your goal is a thousand now what's really awesome is that when you come over here to the left and you click baby steps it shows you baby step one how much more you need to put into your emergency fund which I just think is super awesome and amazing so that's one of the features. The second feature that I think is really cool is the way that it tracks debts. So when you come down here to debts, you also have all of this information here. You can set a due date for each of the, the, the date that you intend to have everything paid off. You can put your starting balance in here. So let's just say I have a credit card with a $5,000 starting balance. You can put your minimum payment in here. Let's say my minimum payment is $50. Um, and then you just want to click save on that. So then let's come over here to my budget and let's say I plan to put $50 on there. And then it just so happens that this month, and I'll go over this part here in a second, I put $75. I made a $75 payment. Just no thanks. So then what happens is it shows up and it, there's a little celebratory thing and it says $75 paid this month. Minimum was $50. There was 25 extra and then you can see that my balance starts to go down which i just think is super cool and it tracks that for all of them so let me also put in the rest of the starting balances for all of my debts let's say i have a fifteen thousand dollar car and let's say i have a fifty thousand dollar student loan and let's say i have a sixteen one thousand six hundred and fifty dollar medical bill and then I have a $2,000 personal loan. That's just with me inputting all of the starting balances. What's really, really cool about that is that when you come over here to the baby steps, it populates the total debt and how many debts you have. So it shows me I have five debts at $73,650. And so far, I paid $75 towards those. And this updates automatically every single month, which I just think is a really beautiful way to get a high level overview of how your debts are working. Um, it comes to populating the every dollar app, there are essentially two major things that you want to make sure that you're mindful of. The first one is making sure you're putting in all of the planned places that you plan to spend your money. So every month when you guys watch me do my budget with me live and I'm writing pen and paper and I'm writing down where I'm planning to spend all that money, 
all those numbers goes in the planned category. And the idea is you want this number up here to equal zero in the end. So just to make it equal zero, I'm going to put in the remaining amount of money that I have. And now it shows that I have an every dollar budget. So it's saying based on how I plan to spend my money for the month of December, based on this income, I'm at a zero dollar budget because every single dollar that I'm bringing in, that I plan to bring in, I've assigned it a particular place, whether I assigned it to savings, to giving, to my four walls, to my debts, right? This category and this um, place is really, really, really important. Now, where a lot of people get confused when it comes to the app is, okay, well, I planned on receiving 1500 but my paycheck was actually 1675 So what do I, do I change it here? No, you change it in the receive category. And when you change it in the receive category, you click on the line item, the budget line item. So you were planning to receive 1500 but you really received 1650 Then you come here and you add new and you write 1650 and you just put the date that you received it. Let's just pretend like I received that on the 5th. Then you push track income. So it automatically shows you that you were planning to, oh, you can't see my finger pointing. You're planning to receive 1500, but you actually received 1650. Let's say for your second check, you were planning to receive 1500, but instead you received 1450. So then we just put that information in there. The every dollar, whether or not it's an every dollar, is based on what you planned. It's not based on what you received. And so that's something that's really, really important because obviously there's an extra hundred dollars that I didn't plan for that's showing up in my received category. And ideally what you would want to do is you would want to allocate that hundred dollars. Now it's not going to be allocated in the plan category, but it can be allocated in the spent category. So for example, um, when I tithe, I tithe 10%. So I would come over here to my giving section and then I would say, okay, instead of tithing 300, since I received 3,100, I'm going to tithe 310. And so it'll show that I'm over budget for what I planned, but that still means I'm on track for my income. The same thing with my giving, I would go in and I would change it to 310 because I want it to be in alignment with and it'll offer you to sign up for the plus just say no I want it to be in alignment with what I actually received so this is the column that you are updating all throughout the month let's say rather than putting a thousand dollars into my emergency fund I actually only put five hundred dollars in there so then it shows that my emergency fund is now five hundred dollars less than what it was before um, same thing with my rent, if I pay my full rent amount, et cetera, et cetera. So what I really enjoy about this is that the plan allows you to see historically, what did you plan? What did you think you were going to do every month? The received category is what did I actually do every month? So it's important that you leave your plan category alone throughout the month so that you can actually reflect back and then make the appropriate changes in the following month. So put your plan category in there one time, leave it alone and only update your receipt. Some other cool things. Other cool things are like the way that things are broken down over here. So for example, it's showing me that I give 20% of my income. It's showing that I spend 35% on savings, 30% on housing. I like that it gives me the 100% breakdown for where I'm actually spending my money. You can also see how much you spent in each of the categories that you've assigned and you can also see how much is remaining in that particular budget and i think that that's just a really good way to get a, again a very clear colorful high level overview i personally adore the every dollar app but i want to give you three specific reasons to use it to help you to really decide between all the different budgeting software that's out there one if you are interested in doing a zero based budget every single month there's no better app than the every dollar app to to figure out how to electronically do a zero based budget the whole philosophy behind the every dollar app was so that it would calculate your zero based budget i also think if you are really interested in tracking your spending because your um, income is irregular enough to where you have to sort of sometimes estimate what you earn but then what actually comes in looks a little bit different whether you're paid hourly you're paid for your talent or you're paid for your value things fluctuate I like the idea that inside of this app there is a planned 
category so you always have a historical pr perspective of what you think you spend but I also really love that the received and the spent category shows you also historically what did I actually do because there tends to be a difference between what we think we're doing and what we're actually doing and I love that the every dollar app gives you that great beautiful high level overview and a place to track both because most of us are doing this anyway the third reason why I would highly recommend using the every dollar app is because of the way that it tracks your savings and your debts I think that it's just really cool to be able to see you know when I'm making extra payments I think it's really cool to be able to see the total of all of my debts I think it's really cool to be able to see how much more I have to go in my seeking funds Overall, I think that it's really cool the the view that you're able to see. So if you are interested in those three things, I highly recommend the Every Dollar app. And I deeply appreciate you guys for watching and supporting my work. I will talk to you very soon. Bye.